Welcome to another special edition of Rare Finds. A couple weeks ago, I went to my local flea market as usual, and there was a guy there that I had never seen before. And I don't have a picture of the setup, but it was just boxes and boxes and boxes filled with books and 80s and 90s catalogs and magazines. Some of the pictures you're seeing right now are some of the things I found in the hall. All kinds of stuff, I couldn't believe it. Best, Bass Pro Shops, Service Merchandise, Bass Master Magazine, KB Toys Newspaper Ads, all mostly from the 90s. I'm not really sure how to film this. I'm gonna film it. We're gonna go through the catalogs one by one and I'm gonna show you them in the order that are interesting to me. Cause I got a bunch of random stuff. I got this entire box right here in this picture for 20 bucks. So I think we'll go through them one at a time and then maybe I'll show you a picture or two from inside the uh, magazine or from the catalogs. There's a lot to go through. Let's get rolling. First up is this Best catalog. It's from 1991 slash 1992. 450 pages of goodness. Camcorder back there. There's some video game and CRT goodness going on. Almost all of these have coupons in there that have never been used. Bass Pro Shops Spring Sale Catalog from 1993 and this is really exciting to me because I actually had this catalog and I was really into bass fishing when I was 13 back in 1993. So for me it's really cool to go through and look through all these because I remember all... I read this thing back and forth all the time and I remember everything in this catalog. Next up we have a service merchandise catalog. Yeah, remember them? 1991 slash 1992 catalog is 542 pages. Show you some CRT goodness in there. Mmm, baby. All of these beautiful babies in here. Next up is a 1991 KB Toys ad for video games and stuff. This is actually really, really cool to look through. And I've decided to do a new series. It's going to be called something. But I'm going to go through things like this, like way more in depth. And go through like first person view of me looking at stuff. And go over all the deals and like newspaper clippings and flyers like this. Because these are really cool to not have detailed accounts of what's going on in here. Oh baby. We got some Battletoads, $49.99. That's a good deal. Yeah, but look at how amazing this is. This stuff needs to be documented more in depth. That's what I'm gonna do. Next up, Twist. We got a comic book. It's The Eternals. Number one. I think it's from 1991 or something. I don't know if this is valuable or not. Bass Pro Shops Fall Hunting Catalog, 1993. Hmm. I was never into hunting, but my friends back then really were, and we had, we all had these catalogs. And I still looked through them back then, even if I wasn't really into that kind of thing. That's pretty cool. Bass Pro Shops Spring Sale Catalog from 1992. I don't think that I had this. I think I got into fishing right after this, so I kind of missed this catalog, but it's still really cool for me to look through this stuff. Most of this stuff you can still buy today in the store. Next up is a JC Penny catalog. This one's actually a little thinner than the others, but it's mostly clues and stuff. Let's see if we can find some 1991 fashion in here. Oh yeah, there's some 1991 fashion for you. We have a best. When is this from? We have a best Santa's Toy Spectacular from 1991, and this is a lie because there's barely any toys in here at all. It's mostly adult things like kitchen appliances and what the kind of trick is that? Here's some CRT goodness. But yeah, maybe the maybe the owner ripped out the toy pages or something because there's not even a toy in here. Next up is Bloomingdale's from 1991 and this is just all clues. Kind of a thin catalog too. Here's a little taste of what you uh, can expect to find in this one. We get a National Enquirer special, your horoscope. For 1992, this is kind of fun to read through, all kinds of pop culture, people that were relevant at the time in this thing. I'm going to show off the Aries page because that's me. Fire, baby. Next up we have all of these. Oh my god, I'm going to drop them. All these Bassmaster magazines. These are like almost the complete years from 1992 to 1993. And this is when I actually had a subscription to Bassmaster magazine. So it's kind of like I got my old magazines back to look through. Not really into fishing like that anymore, but 
Still pretty cool. Look at all those. I remember all these covers too. They were always really kind of artistic and pretty well shot. Then we have one Lonely Bassin magazine. I think I only bought this like once back in the day. This magazine. April 1992. You knew the drill. Articles and a lot of ads. Next up some newspaper uh, ads. Here's one for Drug Emporium. Are they still around? Look at this one. Three Polaroid VHS blank tapes for eight bucks. Here's one of those coupon envelopes you get in the mail. And they've never been used. They're from the... when is this? 1992? They're all double-sided and uh, pretty cool to look through. Brooks stocking stuff for sale. Just a bunch of mostly super random things that you can put in. I don't know how you're gonna put a two liter of soda in your stocking, but okay. Here's some Kodak camera film. Okay, on to the next and the last stack of magazines and catalogs. Christmas issue of Journal from 1991. Home Alone for Christmas. Overton's Water Sports Catalog, 1993. I guess whoever had all these books and magazines, they were a big outdoorsy type of person. A City Shopper Catalog for Citibank, I guess. this Maybe this person was employed by them, or this is just a catalog from Citibank. Here's a Game Boy on the back, only $44, if you remember. Outer Banks Outfitters Catalog, 1993. Fish Finders, all kinds of stuff. Consumers Marine Electronics Catalog, 1993. All kinds of marine stuff, obviously. Here's another marine one. Marine Company Supply. I figured somebody out there would collect these. The Complete Crutch Field Catalog, 1993. It's got all kinds of electronics in it, and I don't really remember this store. Let's find some CRTs in here. There are none, except for some uh, computer ones. There we go. CRT in the book. Next up, another Overton's from 1993. I have a sealed Boot US catalog. I don't know what this ad is on the front, but I guess it's a bunch of... I don't know. It's a marine catalog. It's got marine stuff in it. Gander Mountain, 1993. Another outdoors catalog. Bunch of guns and knives. There's some tents. Here's some sleeping bags for you. New for 93. We're almost done. Got three left. The Sportsman's Guide. Another outdoors catalog. I guess a hunting catalog from the picture on the front. Here's some outdoor gear for you. Another small uh, Citibank catalog. Here's a really cool sports boom box down here. I think I, I think I have that one actually in the basement. All kinds of stuff going on. Oh, here's some CR a CRT. A 9-inch combo symphonic for $379. Woo, baby. And the very, very, very last one is Catalog JC Whitney & Company. Parts and accessories for some cars. Let's see what kind of 90s cars we got going on. Mainly looks like this. There you go. A car, a Volkswagen. That's all there is except for the front. And they covered up the coolest one with this. It's not even a sticker. It's part of the front of the book. Hmm. Well, everyone, that's it. Thanks for hanging out. Whoops. If you made it this far, thanks for looking through all my magazines and catalogs. And I'm going to go more in depth with some of them in the future at some point to be determined. Be sure to check out my other two main series. Well, this one, Rare Finds, where I find stuff from the flea market and estate sales, yard sales, etc. And then Battletoad Overload with Orion Moses, where I beat Battletoads on as many CRTs as possible. Thanks again, and I will see you in the next episode.